Well, when I first started um, as an entrepreneur, like I knew my thoughts create my life, but I still didn't understand on a deeper level that I was, uh, you know, you kind of understand intellectually that there's this consciousness and that you can move things. But we get caught up because of the world is so feels so real to us that we feel like we're fighting a battle with the external world. So when we we think of willpower, I was I was like working a lot, and I was like, you know what, I'm a really good worker, and I'm trying everything, and I'm you know taking all the action, and I, I didn't have any problem with motivating myself, mm. and so I was just like, why did I was I keep hitting a wall? And so willpower can't just be enough. Uh, you know, I, I've experienced, and many of you could probably relate, is that you could really be like, I'm committed to this, but it, you I'm keep hitting this wall and you wonder, what, what, what is it? What mm. else do I need? I feel like I can't want it more. And, um, and for me, though, I think what you just said about who's the one acting, and I was acting out of fear. I was acting, I have to make it, I'm afraid that, or putting all the power into the money and success, that that's going to give me some kind of security. So my will was directed to getting that security externally, and I was chasing myself because what I was putting out there was insecurity of, I don't have enough, I'm not abundant, I'm not safe, I got to go out and make something happen out there. And But the assumption was that it's out there, not in me. And so I was basically on a gerbil wheel, working really hard. I call it rearranging the furniture, just trying mm -hmm. to like make it seem like I'm busy, but I'm not getting the results I want. And we see this happen too with, uh, when we do a lot of love coaching, a lot of women would be like, I'm going on a date every week. I'm you know, doing all the right things. I'm getting my persona nice and pretty for the pictures and writing the yeah. profile, mm -hmm. or I'm, I'm you know, keeping my boundaries with people and, and being good at picking, but it's still not showing up. And it's like, you can want something really bad, but just wanting it bad and working hard for it isn't enough. Yeah. We wish it was, that would be easy, but we're not in mm. that mechanical universe, we're in a conscious universe. So now we have to think about, well, if the external isn't going to give us the power, or, or the, the power is an external, where is it? Yeah, um, that question of, you know, where is the locus of control? In, mm. in psychology, there is this concept of, the locus of control. Mm. So if the individual believes the locus of control is external to them, meaning I'm waiting for things to change, right? I'm waiting for the economy. I'm waiting for my boss. I'm waiting or that for result. my partner. Or the result, yeah, exactly, to, to come show in. me that I, I, that I am successful or that I, I will be happy. Or I'm worthy. Or I'm worthy, uh, depending on external circumstances. That locus of control, right? We're we're projecting it out. Where we're saying it's out there somewhere. The power is not within me. It's a, like a deficit kind of thinking. Like I have this negative, and I get to get out there to even it out. <laughs> yes, and so the the internal locus of control is where where you want to be, because then you start to get the sense of uh, the true sense that you're creating it. You mm -hmm. you're the one that determines how you respond to the environment and what it means to you and instead of depending on on the external to verify your perception so to clarify we're not talking about we're talking that you really have to match the action with the mind versus just taking action and and putting your attention toward the external or towards something that you want to attain Yes, because that you're kind it, be, of moving the power inward, right? Well, well, because you're clarifying the true nature of the mind. In mm -hmm. other words, if you believe the power is outside, but that's not true, you're you're in a kind of delusion. You're mm -hmm. not seeing the the right. You you don't have the right perspective on things. Mm -hmm. You think the power is outside of me, mm -hmm. and that that's false. Because really, what Everything teaches us is that the power is in the mind. Mm. The mind is the cause of how you experience your life. And so if you're working externally and, and focusing that will externally, um, you're simply kind of playing into a misperception, mm -hmm. right? You're thinking, if I work hard enough, 
Mm-hmm. If I, like you, like you were saying about uh, somebody fixing up their persona mm-hmm. to appear nice to uh, the, the mm-hmm. opposite sex so that they can find a partner, that's the wrong approach, essentially, mm-hmm. because, again, you're buying into the false uh, appearance of things. 